Colonel, you better take a look at this radar. What is it, son? I don't know, sir. But it looks like a giant. Willie! Yeah. What's that? Well, it looks like a giant. Pecker! Oh, where? Yeah. Wait, that's not a woodpecker. It looks like someone. Dick! Yeah. Take a look out of starboard. Oh my god, it looks like a huge. Wang! Pay attention. I was distracted by that enormous flying. Johnson! Yes, sir. Get on the horn to British intelligence and let them know about this. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering and uh <laughs> Wow. Uh, Twitter is going uh, absolutely bananas uh, <laughs> over the obviously the news that Elon will be unsuspending or offering uh, suspension amnesty for all previously suspended accounts. On top of that, he finally gave an answer to what they're going to do about verified accounts. And I still am not really totally sure. I'm a huge fan of it. But he also is thumbing his nose at Woke Hollywood, and I'm 100% here for that. And it's an absolute amazing day. It's Friday. Well, I have to work tomorrow, but a lot of people don't have to work tomorrow. And so let's all enjoy it together. So before we get into the story, just a super quick word from this video sponsor, Bond Charge. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Bond Charge. Bond Charge is a holistic wellness brand with a huge range of evidence-based products to optimize your life in every way. Founded on science and inspired by nature, all Bond Charge products adopt ancestral ways of living in our modern day world. And my absolute favorite product they offer right now is on sale, their blackout sleep mask. The problems that Bond Charge blackout sleep mask can solve are poor sleep, frequent awakenings, sleeping during night shifts, napping, meditation, helping with your focus, and so much more. I use mine when I travel on planes or when I'm trying to take a nap. It absolutely works amazing and it fits so nice and comfortably. There's a ton of benefits to the mask, but it has a 100% blackout, like sleeping in pitch black darkness. It's super soft to wear. It has an adjustable strap and adjustable eye cups so you can position them for the absolute perfect fit. You can fully open your eyes while you're wearing the mask and great for people with long eyelashes and it applies zero pressure to the eyes. It's super breathable too, so you're never gonna wake up from a sweaty face. And Bond Charge is having a huge Boxing Day sale with a massive 25% off site-wide until the 2nd of January. Just go to bondcharge.com and choose your favorite wellness products and the discount code will be applied automatically at checkout. That's bondcharge.com and the 25% off discount code will be applied automatically for you let's start with uh, uh, a a very nice human being christian toto's article elon musk drops a bomb on woke hollywood the tuz of billionaires car line hasn't wooed progressive stars and said they look past his company's eco impact and focus on his passion passion for freer speech musk's twitter takeover allowed many quote banned accounts back on the platform he's more interested in stopping uh predators than silencing voices that's a bridge too far for Stephen King, Jack White, and Whoopi Goldberg, and others who are either fleeing Twitter or blasting Musk for his brief but consequential Twitter reign. You can see Cody Johnston coming back 12 hours later to prove how not bothered I am. You see Elon Musk saying, oh, hi, Stephen King. Uh, is my pillow actually a great pillow? Now I'm curious. Headline, Stephen King tweet causes my pillow sales to skyrocket, LOL. Musk has plenty to do given his business ventures, but he spends an inordinate amount of time tweeting to his heart's content. He's alternatively, alternately funny and bruising, sharing business insight and quizzing users on his next steps he might take on Twitter. The week, this week, Musk revealed that he has a keen grasp of the modern Hollywood and used words, uh, to, to use his words, the woke mind virus infecting it. The billionaire weaponized that phrase earlier this year to blast Netflix for its dubious content decisions, one reason the streaming giant's fortunes fell in early 2022. Now Musk is calling out the entertainment industry for a similarly twisted agenda. He started the discussion by asking Twitter's users on what they thought about the culture war, a loaded term that can mean anything from God in the Classroom to the Queen Story Hours. Many responded, of course, given Musk's 120 million followers. Um... A lot of people say, I think the right needs to start funding more artists, filmmakers, and writers instead of politicians and super PACs. Big agree. You don't win a naval war without any ships. You can't win a culture war without any culture. Any culture. We've been reacting too long. Time to go on the offensive. Musk responded. 
I'm neither conventionally right nor left, but I agree with your point. The woke mind virus has been potentially has potentially penetrated entertainment and is pushing c- civilization towards its end. There needs to be a counter narrative. The counter narrative is already happening, albeit in modest measures. You know, there are things like the Daily Wire and and things like that that are doing things. But uh, it's interesting to see Elon weigh in on that and drop some real truth uh, uh, tweets on it. But now he's also rolling out a brand new feature. So if you've been following kind of the verification mess, my position has always been on verification that um, the blue check mark would have been fine if it was if it was universally accepted or like you know the the earnings you know the the qualifications to get it were not politically motivated by people inside twitter you know i think you know a youtuber with a hundred thousand subscribers should probably be verified on twitter uh i think you know, a race car driver or baseball player or football player, or soccer or football or football player, they should be verified. Politicians should be verified. Um, you know, official band accounts, official business accounts. These are things that I think could be verified. I don't think that we needed more check marks, but this is what's happening. Musk says Twitter to launch gold, gray, and blue verified check marks. Now, this might actually be interesting because you can see the color of the check and kind of know exactly who they are, as opposed to before where everyone had the same checks, but, and you're like, oh, why do they have a check mark? And you hover over it and you're like, oh, they have 1,200 followers, but they wrote three pieces for Kotaku, so they're verified. Twitter will roll out verified gold and gray check marks as it relaunches, relaunches the coveted blue check mark service on Friday. Chief Executive Officer Elon Musk said in the tweet after holding the rollout earlier this week, holding off it. Gold check marks for companies, gray check marks for governments, blue for individuals, celebrities or not, painful but necessary, Musk said. All verified accounts will be manually authenticated before the check is activated, Musk said. Individuals can have a secondary tiny logo to show they belong to an organization if verified by such an organization. So let's say you work for the Washington Post. Um, and you have a, a blue check mark, it may also say it works for the Washington Post, and that's why they're verified. The company had paused its recently announced $8 blue check subscription service as fake accounts mushroomed and had said that the sought after blue check mark subscription service will be relaunched November 29th. That's in four days. Since they locked it, by the way, hilariously, there have been people like <laughs> Count Dankula, who has his name set to something pretty funny who's been stuck uh, because they locked anybody being able to change their name at all because while they work on it. He then writes to, um, in this intersection, you know, you have this Rob Reich, Rob Rob Reich, 1.5 million followers, uh, rarely gets a lot of uh, replies, but in this case he did. Here's where Elon Musk fails to understand. Much of corporations' values lie in their workers, their knowledge or skills or ideas. When he fired half of Twitter's workforce and drove off even more, he wasn't cutting costs. He was actively destroying what he bought. He basically got ratioed on this, by the way. 36,000 comments. This idea is that the more people you hire, the better your company gets. Like, where do, where do you even get that logic? And then it's, Elon Musk is interesting. Now pay $8. Crypto King says, Elon, I'm trying. It won't let me. He's talking about pay the $8. And I'm verified. Need to edit one character. And I can't spell. Elon says, sorry for the delay. We're tentatively launching Verified on Friday next week. Gold checks for companies, gray checks for government, blue checks for individuals, celebrity or not. And all verified accounts will be manually authenticated before check activates. Painful but necessary. So every individual verified as a public official or $8 payment will have the same check. Will they be customizable? Will there be a red check for those that commit fraud but verified? (laughs) Elon says, all verified individual humans will have the same blue check as a boundary of what constitutes notable is otherwise too subjective. Individuals can have a secondary tiny logo showing that they belong to an organization if verified by such uh, that organization. Longer explanation next week. 
So, I mean, it's like you're talking about, um, you know, essentially he's saying, hey, everyone's on the same playing field. But then it's like, I just don't know. Like, do I need a check mark then? Like, I thought that, you know, like, I don't need a personal account to be verified. I just wanted people to know that the quartering was the quartering and not one of the many imposter accounts or my hater fan accounts. Um, I still don't love this solution because is the quartering an individual? Not really. It's an organization. So, you know, is that, does that mean I can get a gold check mark? How does that work? Where is the process for this? I think all he had to actually do was just fix, um, you know, the verification process, the way it sat, you know, the, the make it actually work. Uh, but, you know, right now he's got, you know, hit piece after hit piece coming out from the Washington Post. He's got, uh, you know, the Axios saying people are literally going to die because of free speech, all this kind of stuff. So I suppose he's doing the best he can, but I just feel like I, I get he wanted to be able to charge people some money. But maybe focus on adding some features for that money instead of just a check mark. I don't I don't know. I'm not an expert. It's gonna be interesting to see how this all shakes out. I hope you enjoyed this video though. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.